Are you ready to dive into the fascinating world of Stirling engines and discover how they work? In today's video, we'll be exploring the incredible world of these heat-powered marvels and showcasing 10 amazing examples. You'll learn how hot air, solar-powered, or even water-cooled Stirling engines work. So let's get started. The hot air Stirling engine works by using the heat generated by an external heat source, such as burning alcohol, to expand and contract the air inside a cylinder, which drives a piston to produce mechanical energy. This mechanical energy is then converted into electrical energy or used to power a mechanical device. The heat from high-grade alcohol drives the engine to run madly, creating electricity that goes through the wire and, in this case, drives the LED light to emit different colors. The Stirling engine is easy to operate and provides hours of entertainment without any hassle. Simply fill the alcohol burner with 95% alcohol, light it up, and let the round-ended cylinder burn for about 20 seconds. Then give the wheel a gentle push and the engine will run like a charm. The engine's longevity and ease of operation make it a great learning tool for kids' science projects and physical or mechanical learning. But be aware that the engine will not run if you use a candle, since there is not enough heat to start the engine. The price is around $60 at the moment of recording the video. The combustion of butane fuel powers this 16-cylinder Stirling engine. When the butane is ignited, the heat causes the air inside the cylinders to expand and push the pistons outward. As the pistons move, they turn a crankshaft which is connected to a propeller or other device that can be used to generate electricity or drive other machinery. So it has eight cylinders for heating and eight cylinders for cooling. The heating cylinders are where the butane fuel is burned to produce heat, and the cooling cylinders are in charge of getting rid of the extra heat that the engine makes. The result is a mesmerizing display of motion and energy that is both beautiful and educational. This engine has a graceful and unique design with 16 cylinders that demonstrate real forward-thinking physics and engineering. Keep in mind that with a high-speed engine like this one, vibrations are inevitable. So if that's a concern for you, it's best to look for a different engine. And while it's not suitable for kids, the best way to describe it is that it's perfect for adults with a kid's curiosity. At around $320, this one-of-a-kind Stirling engine offers a truly unique and fascinating experience. And this is one unique and eco-friendly model that harnesses the power of the sun to generate motion. As you can see, it's custom-made and uses a Fresnel lens to concentrate sunlight and generate power. However, due to the small size of the lens, the amount of electricity produced is not significant enough for practical use, and it is primarily intended for educational or demonstration purposes. The engine demonstrates the principles of heat transfer and the conversion of solar energy into mechanical energy. This one is a little different from the regular one because it has a twin flywheel. So what that means? It means that twin flywheel Stirling runs much faster than the single flywheel. Because of the heat from high-grade alcohol in the twin flywheels, the engine will run madly and create electricity. It costs about $55. This quirky little model uses the heat from your hot cup of coffee or any other beverage to power the engine, creating a fascinating display for you and your guests to enjoy. With an easy start, just place it on your mug of hot beverages and give it a spin. And as long as the temperature differential is maintained, it will keep running. And when you see that the engine is slowing down, you can just add some ice to the top of the panel to increase the temperature difference so it keeps running. But the best part about this Stirling engine model is that it costs only $40. Unlike other models, this engine uses water cooling to maintain optimal operating temperatures, making it a top choice for serious hobbyists and engineering enthusiasts. The advanced design ensures efficient operation and a longer lifespan than other models. So with this model, we need to fill the water reservoir and light the alcohol burner to get started. It's amazing to watch how this engine comes to life, powered by the heat differential between the hot and cold sides. This engine is really a stunning piece of craftsmanship 
and as you can see, it is more complicated than the basic hot air model. Unfortunately, you can't purchase this one online since it is custom made, but if you like it, you can support the channel that made this model. I will leave the link in the description. This engine is significantly larger than most Sterling engines you can find weighing in at 5.9 pounds, making it very sturdy and stable while running on a table. The four-cylinder engine is a powerhouse that will leave you amazed. With an output voltage of four to nine volts, its performance is truly impressive. The base, bracket, and two flywheels are crafted from high-strength 6061 aluminum alloy, providing both durability and a sleek appearance. But as I said earlier, what I like the most about this engine is the weight, as you could notice that most other engines had huge vibrations. And this one is stable, so there's no worry that it will start to move when it's working. The price of this masterpiece is about $300. This is a practical and functional model that uses the power generated by the engine to operate a fan, demonstrating the potential real-world applications of Stirling engines. The heating cylinder is made of 304 stainless steel, the piston is made of brass, and the power cylinder is made of alloy steel. This model comes with a single cylinder and a single flywheel, which is enough to operate the fan. Like most of the others, it's recommended to use 95% alcohol as fuel. Actually, I think that we had only one engine that was butane fueled. The price of this Sterling engine fan is about $105. This one is my favorite. It's a build-it-yourself kit that allows you to assemble your own Sterling engine from scratch. I like it because of these two reasons. The first reason is that you will enjoy it much more after you assemble it because you will feel the satisfaction of having built it yourself. And to be honest, half the fun is just assembling it. I'm sure anybody would enjoy it. But be aware that this is a DIY product, and if any step is done incorrectly, the engine may not function properly. And the second reason is the price of this assembly kit, which is only about $40. This one is a true masterpiece and the biggest homemade Stirling engine that I could find. It is 317 cc and in this video, you can see that it is used for milk processing. The engine is powered by an external heat source and it operates using the Stirling cycle. It is impressive to see how efficiently it can convert heat into mechanical work. It took about two years to build this engine and you can see the entire project. I will leave the link in the description. So what do you think about Sterling engines? Did you ever wish to build one yourself? Please let us know in the comments. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos of various tech and gadget reviews. Check out this playlist of my top 10 videos and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.